Hi, welcome to FreshMyEye.com. My name is Eric and we're going to talk a little bit about refractions. We've had a few of our subscribers have issues rendering out glass and it coming out black. So we want to address that issue today or at least the main cause of it. I've got four glass panes right here in my view panel. I'm going to go ahead and assign a glass shader to these. I'm just going to right click, assign new material, and I'm just going to choose the Maya, Maya material. So it's a mental ray material. Go up here and make sure I got the right node selected. I'm just going to go to presets and we're just going to use the glass thin 100% replacement. I'm going to change the color, kind of a greenish yellow, kind of darken it up a little bit, accept. All right, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to assign the same material to the rest of these. So assign existing and there's our glass. Let's do a rendering. Since we're using mental ray, we need to go to a mental ray render. And let's um, go to our quality tab. Yeah, anytime you use Maya materials, you got to render it out in Mental Ray. Go down to the ray tracing section. And we won't mess with that right now. We'll talk about that because that's where our issue is. I'm just going to change, make this a little bigger rendering so you can see a little better in this tutorial. All right, let's do a rendering. See what we get. All right, I'm going to change our background from black to white so we can see what's going on. All right, we can see through one pane really easy, but anywhere where there's an overlap, it starts getting dark. All right, what we want to look at is two places. We want to look at our render settings underneath the quality tab. Underneath the ray tracing section, you'll see a refractions setting and a max trace depth setting. I'm going to change these to one. I'm also going to go into our Maya material attributes. Down here where the refraction is, where I changed the color, underneath that is an advanced refraction section. Expand that and you will see a max trace depth. I'm going to change that to one. All right, let's do another rendering. Okay, now those areas are totally black now. We can see through one, but we can't see through two pieces of glass without it turning black. Those three settings we were just messing with is the reason that's happening. Maya is calculating refractions, but it's only calculating it for one surface right now. It's not going to calculate it for two surfaces. So if we want to go through two surfaces, we need to open up our render settings. Let's change this to two, change our max trace depth to two. If we render that out, it's still going to be the same. We can start to see through it, but we also have to do it in our shader attributes over here. So we change that to two. And now we'll be able to see through two pieces of glass. All right, so we can see through the red and the blue, okay? But where the red, blue, and green, all three overlap, it's black. Also, where the blue, green, and yellow panes, it's black there as well. So if we want to look through three, if we want the refractions calculated for three surfaces, I'm sure you already guessed it by now. In our material attributes, we need to change the max trace depth to three, or at least three. It can be higher, it just has to be at least three. And then in our render settings, three and three. So now we'll do another render. Now we can see through all, or at least through three panes of glass. If we go through a front view, let's do that. Kind of zoom in here. Let's do a render. Let's change our camera back, uh, background. You can see it's black. So if that was a bottle that we were looking through, it's still black until we tell Maya that we want refractions calculated for four surfaces. So let's go back into our settings. All right, here's our material. We're going to change that to four. Go into our render settings. Four, four. Let's close that out, do a render. And now we can see all the way through. Let's go to a perspective view. To where all four are overlapping and we can see all the way through. There's no blackness whatsoever. That's one of the main issues that a bottle or a glass comes out black when you're using refractions. All right, another reason is if you have your color too dark. So if we darken this up, 
you can see we're getting some black areas now. And if this was a bottle, it would look pretty much black. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put all these on a layer. And we'll just hide that layer. I'm going to create a pipe, polygon pipe. And we're just going to pretend this is a section of a bottle, kind of a cut section where the top and the bottom of the bottle was cut. So let's change the thickness of the wall. Something about like that. And that's good. All right, so there's our bottle. I'm just going to bump that at the 32 to make it smoother. Actually, for now, I'm going to lower this down to 8 just to kind of show you. To look all the way through this bottle, how many surfaces do we need to calculate for? There's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So four surfaces. Let's assign our glass shader to it. I'm going to bump my subdivisions back up just to make this uh, round or smooth. All right, let's go back to a front view. Let's do a render. You can see how it's starting to look really dark. And if we were on a dark surface, even this bottom part would look dark. So our bottom would basically look pretty much black. So just make sure that you have your color for your glass set bright enough to where it's not going to be too dark. So that's another reason why your glass might come out a little too dark. And the uh, final main reason is the index of refraction. If you typically you want it between 1.45 and 1.85. I've read that's pretty much where the uh, real glass uh, refraction index is. Um, but inside of mine, you can go a little bit lower, a little bit higher. But you don't want to go too low, and you don't want to get too high because it's really going to mess up your glass, the refractions. So if we take this down to one, it's basically no refraction whatsoever. So if you have something behind it, it's going to look like you're just looking straight through and nothing's happening. Um, refraction is basically the bending of light. So if you stuck your hand into some water, it looks like your hand's going in a different direction. It's just the bending of the light, and that's what the refraction is. So if we take this down below 1, it's really going to start messing with our glass. So let's put it at 0 0.8, do a render. All right, it's kind of hard to tell there, but if we compare it, you can see it looks a lot shorter. And that's because the outside of our glass has taken on the color of our background. All right, so let's take it out even lower. Let's take it to 0.5. Do another rendering. Look at it now. So depending on your background, it's really going to mess with your, your glass. So if we take this down to like 0.2, there's not going to be hardly anything left of our glass. All right, also if you go up too high, it can start causing issues, just not as immediate. So it's still not the color green we want, but just to kind of let you know that that index of refraction, you'll do a lot better to keep that around the one and a half range uh, and the uh, two range. So anywhere between one and two, basically. And the goal is probably between 1.45 and 1.85 if you can. All right, um, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.